All right, welcome back. In this particular uh, iteration, we're going to talk about the uh, trigger box, setting up the trigger box so that your playable character will be able to trigger that cutscene in game. Now, if we come right over here to the modes panel. We can scroll down under basic. You will see trigger box. Go ahead and click and drag that into your scene. And tapping on your space bar, you will encounter that scale uh, gizmo. Just click and drag that to the right hand side to scale up your trigger box. Now, let's see. We do have it selected. We're still in the simulation. So let's try that again. When you're in simulation mode, you're not going to be doing a lot of building. You're going to have to stop simulation mode, stop the play, so that you can continue developing. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get that trigger box nice and big so there's no question that when the player encounters that area that the cutscene will play. All right. Here's my spawn point over here. And so uh, that trigger box is just to the left hand side where all the action is. We'll go ahead and use that for now and adjust later. Just want to make sure that that is functional. Now I'm selecting my trigger box and I'm going to go ahead under the blueprint icon arrow down. I'm going to click on that and open level blueprint. Alright, once we're here we can go ahead and uh, again with the trigger box selected I'm going to right click and go into that very first option go ahead and open that up the add event for trigger box one which is what I have selected we're going to the collision rollout here and the uh, the note that I want is add on actor begin overlap go ahead and click on that it'll drop that snippet into your uh, blueprint and you can begin building what we need here now I'm going to filter my outliner for to find my sequencer. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and drag that in as well. All right. And now I can continue to build this. Now I've included in the shell, the canvas shell, the map for this particular blueprint. What we need here is a set playback position from the target and then a play node. So what I'm going to do here is go ahead and uh, find the set playback position by right clicking and going ahead and uh, just typing that into the open field there. All right, I'm going to drag out and I'm going to look for my target. Oops. I need the set playback position. Okay, just so start typing it and you'll find it right here. And it'll automatically go ahead and give you the, the target node as well. Now we're going to go ahead and connect our trigger box with this playback of the sequence and that other one is simply play and I'm not seeing it in the field so what I'm going to do is go ahead and drag out from my sequencer play 
Yeah, that's not giving it to me either. Let's try again. Just to make sure I have the correct node. Play. There it is. All right. So now we can go ahead and wire in our play node. If we go back to the blueprint here, schematic, we can go ahead and see that uh, the sequence player is the target and the set playback position is also connected to play. Okay, and once we have that, we can simply compile that and test our trigger box to make sure it's going to play our sequence.